Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. I finally remembered to add the two into the welcome message. We're gonna give Bodley the the Incineraptor horn. Well, did you bring me an Incineraptor's horny warny woo? She is really weird. Here you go. You handed the Incineraptor's horn to Bodley. Oh my. Oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so warm, so wonderful and warm. Yes, it's heating up my heart like a hotty hot hot thing. Mmm, she is so weird. Bodley knew she was right to ask her favory wavery woos of you, and it's time for the third and final one. He he he. Do me this one last niceness, niceness, and you'll have a lovely wobbly library card of your very own. Yes, we're doing all this for a library card. Right ho, let's get to it. What'd you need, bottles, old girl? I oh, called her old. <laughs> need someone with an army. Uh oh. Horrible bandit stole my stone. My lovely, lovely stone. Kings have armies, yes. And you're a king. An adorable teeny tiny little king, but a king nonetheless. Uh, use your army. Get it back. My stony won't he woo. Mm. I'm not quite sure I'd call that what we, what we have Nama. an army. Nah, man. Two units is more like a, a scrum. Oh. Too weak? Too weak. Yes. You'll be squished. Slaughtered. Hmm. Is she going to give us more units? That'd be great. Oh, yes. Just remembered. There's a dog man. Good doggy. Gaugia used to be used to be a good doggy soldier. Yes, make him your good doggy soldier. Woof woof. Make your army strong. Yes, he'll be in the casino. Loves the casino. Looks like we're off to search off in search of this uh, Gaugia. Then Evan Lad. <laughs> that was some good reading on my part. All right. Cool, so we can actually add a unit to our army. That's actually something I'm very excited about. We should also check out a lot more of these question, not question marks, sorry, exclamation marks. Uh, the Lucky Star Casino. I'm gonna go over here first. So this first exclamation mark. This person. Evan, no oh Evan, thank goodness you're all right. Mm -hmm. Persia, what are you doing here? Yeah. Well, you know, things got rather hairy back at the castle. I had to persuade a young man to hide me in his cart so that I would I could escape. The next thing I knew, uh, here I was. Gosh, well, it's a relief to see that, to see that yes. you're safe. Oh yes, they're taking very good care of me here. You know, this is my first experience of life in another kingdom. But it seems some things are the same wherever you go. As long as you're willing to work for a living, you can go far. You can't oh. go for far wrong or something. That's wonderful to hear. By the way, I've started a new kingdom. My, by the way, I've started a new kingdom. Would you like to come and join us there? Huh? Gosh, are you sure? I mean, it's a wonderful offer, but I do have a job here. <laughs> or, or, don't be silly, Persia. The king himself has come to fetch you. I shall be sorry to see you go, but how could I possibly stop you? Hmm. But there is one last thing. Here we go. Uh, I would like you to do for me before you go. Could I ask you to sew a new quilt for one of the guest rooms? Hmm. I would be happy to, of course, but we're all out of thread. Oh, dear. All right. I can go and get you some thread, Persia. Thanks. Could you? Oh, that would be such a help. Four clumps of green glade cotton would be just perfect. Do I have any green glade cotton? Uh, no. And we got a sardine sandwich out of it. Yes. Okay, so we don't... Oh, we do. We have 16. Mm. Here you are, Persia. I, I brought you four clumps of green glade cotton, just like you asked. Thank you. Really? You did that for me? Oh, aren't you wonderful? I shall pay you back 100-fold when I come to your kingdom. Now, let me just sew, sew this quilt, and I'll be ready to leave. Thanks. Excellent. Now I'll be able to continue keeping my esteemed customers in the comfort to which they have become accustomed. <laughs> Thank you for your for all your hard work, Persia. Ar har har. May fortune favor you in your new home. Yes. Thank you too. I don't know what I would have done without your kindness. Sweet. We got Persia. What's she good at? Magic, apparently. Sixty-five. Cool. All right, yeah. I kind of want to, like, grab all these people because I think these are all recruits for the town. Next one is up over here. Here we go. Excuse me. May I ask you something? I'm looking for the one called Golden Warrior. Do you perhaps know who he is? Crikey, Crikey there's a name and a half. I don't think I've ever heard of it before, mine. Is there anything else you can tell us about the warrior of yes. the warrior character? They say he's a true leader of men and that he has blonde hair and pointy ears. Um... <laughs> <laughs> With long hair and pointy ears, eh? Uh, remind you of anyone, Evan, my lad? Oh, my goodness. Wait, that sounds like me. Oh, you are younger than I expected, but now that you mention it, you do match the description. 
but I've never been called a golden warrior or anything like that. Are you sure you aren't? Golden warrior, please. Come, please come and save us. Uh-oh. Crikey. Crikey, she's proper bleeding with you, man. Sounds to me like she's in the right, in a right pickle. Yes, right. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to help you, miss. Can you tell us the whole story from the beginning? So you will come and save us? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Hoi Den. I live here in Goldpot in a quiet area away from all the hustle and bustle. It was always a peaceful place to live, until recently, that is. Now it is being terrorized by a horrible monster. What is more, most of the adults who live there work in other parts of the kingdom. Only children and old people remain, and they cannot hope to defend themselves. I was sent out to find someone, anyone, who could assist us in our hour of need, and I have found you. Please, you must come and help us. What'd you reckon, Evan? I don't fancy your chances if she's waiting for this golden warrior bloke to come and help her. You're right, Lofty. Well, there's only one thing for it. We're gonna have to step into the breach. Don't worry, miss. We'll take care of this. Oh, oh, thank you. The monster always runs off after it had its fun rampaging through our neighborhood. We believe it is lurking down in Tightfit Cavern <laughs> near the Heartlands. Tightfit Cavern? All right, we'll go and deal with it. You wait here, Hoi Den. Yeah! Double down dumplings we get. I think I'm going to make this one my active quest. And I'm going to keep searching. Do we have any more exclamation points? We don't. Okay, so there is the... Let's go over here. We'll deal with the main quest later. I kind of want to do some side quests today because I want to level up my characters. I also want to increase our, uh, our army size. I went the wrong way, by the way. It's past the bridge. All right, you... Hamster, hamster, guys! Ouch! Suck it! Look at them! Oh, yeah, I saw my water bow equipped. That's right. I should unequip all that stuff because I have better stuff. I think this is where that monster's hiding out. Ooh, there it is, tight fit cavern. I wonder if it's gonna be a tight fit in there. Oh. Oh, it's one of these guys. Well, crap. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. Let's take a look around first. The monster gives off an unpleasant aura. No, 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 no. No. Oh, I can't go any further. Uh, level 23. He should be all right. Let's go ahead and check our uh, tactic tweaker here. And we're going to move this over to uh, reptilian. Oh, no. That is the plasma, right? Solid bodied against slimy... Solid against slimy or solid bodied. So slimy's on this side. Solid bodies on this side. Natural or reptilian. Beautiful or brutal. Would that be a slimy body? I would guess that's a slimy body. Right? Sure. Yeah. And then enables resistance boost against poisoning. We have 572 kings. 51 battle points. Like, we should probably, like... Yeah. Yeah. That's 20 points on that. 11 points on this. Yeah. Battle points, please. Okay, so... The balance. Right, that's fine. Reduces the amount of damage taken when blocking. Oh no, we don't want that. The amount of MP restored by taking damage. Reduces the length of time it takes to charge up powerful ranged attacks. Heavy melee attacks. Let's go with that. And then here we will go with... Water damage, poisoning, dark damage. Here we go. We'll increase the dark damage resistance. And then I guess we can probably... Dragon natural, beautiful or brutal. I guess we'll go another one for here for now. In fact, can I? I can. Okay, let's do that. I think that's what that is, right? It's a slimy guy. Uh, it says to view effects versus slimy foes. Yeah, but it doesn't say which ones are the slimy foes. I think we're okay, though. I think we're all right. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Yes. Yes. It's a Mortimer. Looks slimy to me. Oh, this guy is going to be a problem. Whoa. Okay. He might be a little bit of a problem. I caught one of those special attack things. Uh-huh. 
Ага. Ага. We are wrecking this guy's face. The damage is so satisfying. Like, it really is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, he's dead. He's coming at me. I was going to move away. It's okay. By the way, we took out uh, Roland, and we got uh, these three helping us out now. Five Angel's Tears. A Bulwark Brooch. Ooh. She weren't wrong about that monster being a nuisance, eh? The kids and old fogies wouldn't have stood a chance against that rotter. I'm sure Hoi Den will be happy to know that I won't be troubling her people anymore. Now we just need to persuade her that I'm not the Golden Warrior. Why, why'd you want to go and do a thing like that, man? It's pretty tidy little moniker, if you ask me. I'd rather be known as the King of Evermore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Happily ever after and all that. Fair dues. Was worth a try. Can we explore in here? Yes, we can. Hello, cave. How are you? I will take you. A pebble. Good. Glad I... Oh! This is exciting. Maybe we have something to give him this time. Uh, give me what I like and I will like you quite a lot. I was talking about that wool, isn't it? The proper tough stuff. Well, durable it is. Wild wool. Hard wearing wool. That's got to be it. Uh-huh. Yes! We're gonna... Ooh, it's a little flame guy! Ooh. Thrumius the Flammable. Oh, that's exciting. That is... First of all, we got a brooch. Okay, everybody here is cool with swords. Uh, you've got a better axe now, buddy. Your dangerous platinum axe. There we go. You still have this. Good. Hey, are you good with your spear? You are. Are you good with that thing? You are. And then Evan. Okay, good. Good. There is a brooch here. There's a ring. Close range ring. These rings are all pretty similar. It just depends what you want. Where's that? There it is. Slightly improves physical and magic defense. Evan, you put that on, buddy. Okay. Now. Oh, not, not items. Party. We have Runesable the Righteous. Four four followers. Let's remove Runesable the Righteous. And let's put in this fl little flamey guy. Furious. Or, sorry. Frumious the Flammable. Carefree. Scrap, scrap. Uh... No, I want to see his uh, Higgle the Info. There we go. Imparts a slight boost to the power of regular attacks. Restores a small amount of HP to an ally. Uh, a fire belching cannon appears and is used to blast the enemy. Okay, so we got a water cannon, a fire cannon, HP, and a dark attack. So I think we're good. We're pretty well balanced here. All right. We're golden. Let's get the heck out of here. Can I fast travel from here or... Gotta go back to Gold Paw. Here we go. Your golden warrior's here. Hello. We took care of that monster, Hoden. <laughs> Hoi Hoiden? I knew it. I knew the golden warrior would save us. That is the best name. Ah, yes, about this golden warrior thing. I'm not actually. Oh, that's him. Hello there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I heard that there was a young lady looking for me. Is that you, perhaps? <laughs> that guy looks a lot cooler than I do. Oh, are you? You must be the real golden warrior. Some call me by that name, yes, but I prefer Yap Yappy. <laughs> Yappy like a dog. Uh, grandiose nicknames are beneath the general of the army of Goldpaw. Hoi Den. I, I'm sorry I didn't make this clear earlier on, but I'm not the golden warrior. He is. Mm. Blonde hair, pointy ears. Oh. It, it, is it true? Are you the master of all military matters? The man who has emerged unscathed from countless brutal battles? The one who whose benevolence knows no bounds? <laughs> I would not go that far, but yes, it does seem that I might be the one you are seeking. Now that it seems my services are required... Now that... Not that it seems my services are required any longer. Goldpaw thanks you, King Evan. My apologies that I could not assist you in your hour of need. I shall make my way to your neighborhood right away. I shall do everything I can to ensure that the victims of the monster's rampage recover from their ordeal. How is she going to thank us? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I cannot believe it. What a foolish error to make. I'm jumping to the wrong conclusion. I put you in terrible danger. Uh, in jumping to the wrong conclusion, I think. And what is more, I fail to recognize you as the king of Evermore. You are the one who is building a great new nation, yes? Oh. oh! Oh, you've heard of what we've been doing? That's wonderful. 
but all is well that ends well. Our people are safe, and all is thanks to you. I am in your debt, King Evan. Allow me to come to your kingdom and do what I can in return. <laughs> Beautiful. Of course, Oiden will be happy to have you. Thank you so much. Fantastic. She is good at higgledies, looks like. Occupation martial artist. Cool. So we got two people to assign now. Do we have any more here? No. I think maybe we should go do that main quest now. Which will be... No. Which will be be it there apparently oh oh right we got to go to the casino forgot about that and i think it's this way is it this way it's this way Ooh, let me get that shiny shinies are fun can i break this no oh who's this guy He's just hanging out over here he doesn't have any uh any quests for me so i'm not going to bother him too much so we have to go back to the casino which is in this general direction. I keep getting these shinies. They keep what are these pebbles for? How many pebbles can a guy pick up before he realizes that they're useless? Maybe they have uses though, I just haven't discovered the uses yet. I should uh, mess around with the crafting system a little bit more. There's so much to do in this game. Like it's pretty deep. It's very linear, I find. I mean, I guess it is open world technically, but it, it's very linear for an open world game, if that makes any sense at all. Like, you really can't divert too much from the path. Oh, there's the guy I need to talk to. Is there any more shininess in here? There's one right here. Gilders. You just find Gilders laying around the floor. Okay, this guy. Excuse me? Are you Gao Jia? Bodley told us about you. We were wondering if you'd be able to help us. Go away, leave me alone. Great. Great. I'm not sure our friend by yours in... By, by. What? I'm not sure our friend by yours in the mood to talk, Evan. Oh, that... I don't like that. Flip! Flip, man, there's no need to... Hang on a sec. That was his belly, eh? He's not hungry. Or if he's not angry, he's hungry. Starving by the sound of it. <sighs> I am not hungry. Okay. No, I cannot pretend any longer. Yes, I am hungry. I'm absolutely fat. Oh. oh, then you'd better eat something. Is there anything in particular you'd like? We'd be happy to fetch it for you. Then once you've eaten, maybe you'd be willing to, to listen to what we have to say. Mm. Look at him. He's adorable. Very well. Here, you will need this. Obtain a copy of Fabulous Fairy Tale Fair. The dish I wish to eat is known as an Om Nom Nomlet. <laughs> you will find the recipe in this book. It is a delectable treat that is apparently beyond compare. Unfortunately, it seems that no one in Golpa is capable of making one. You are my last hope. Wow. Or his last hope for an omelet. Um, bring me an om nom omelet and I will give you, and I will give due consideration to anything you have to ask of me. Righto, Evan, let's head for the kitchen and start cracking some eggs. Mm. It? Yes, let's go back home and talk to Floyd. I'm sure he'll know what to do. Floyd? Mayweather? Um, oh, he gives us an all be gone. Okay, let's make that our active quest. Side quest updated. See, like, even with these side quests, they're necessary for the main quest. So, I don't know. It doesn't feel like you have a whole lot of freedom as to uh, what to do, but it, uh, it, it, it all works out. Evermore, Evermore Castle. Here we go. I need to assign those two people anyway, so it's good that I'm coming back here. Let me go in here first. Can't wait to use our little fiery higgledy. Okay, now, can I see coffers will take, huh. yep, stores, we will take, rugged fur, okay, uh, take all, okay, citizens, so we got Persia, who's good with, boost bazaar, uh, the bazaars, an easy charm, and I for a deal that can boost the bazaar's productivity. Do we have, where's the bazaar? No, 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 continue managing kingdom. This is the weapon development, outfitters, general store, spell works. Humble bazaar, here we go, build facility. Perfect. Now, personnel, assigned citizen, suitable. Yeah. 
Done. Level up facility? Why not? Let's level it up good. Okay, the bazaar has been leveled up. Good stuff. Uh, now the other person that we have... ...was Hoi Den. Oh, and Floyd! That's right, we gotta assign Floyd, I think. Perfect palette and love and Ideal... Brasserie boss. Bra brasserie boss? He's a cook. Uh, no. I keep pushing B to, to get out of that screen. Spell works. General store. Outfitters. Workshop. Barracks. Higglery. Hunting lodge. What can we build here? A ranch. A farm. Explorer's guild. A mining camp. A fish market, a cook shop. Here we go. Build facility. Now I think we put pretty boy Floyd here. Personnel. Oh, kitchen chops required. There we go. He said it says he's suitable, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Uh, we don't need to level it up just yet. I don't think. What else can we build? A lumber yard. How much? We have a lot of influence, but zero King's Guilders. Did we just spend every last penny? Dang! Okay, there's an exclamation point here. Complete research. Weapon development has been completed. That gives us more influence. Personnel. Hoiden. Chingus. Newbie. And Batu. But Batu is, like, suitable for something else, right? Like, we have him somewhere else. You know what? Hold on. Let me go here to facilities. Evermore Barracks. Jump to the Evermore Barracks. Yes. Why is that? Why are we jumping to the Evermore Barracks? Research? We can't research because there's nobody there. Okay. Facilities? Research completed. Research into my first Higgledy cookbook has been completed. Interesting. Can we research again? My second. It requires 1,350 King's Guilders, and we have zero. Uh, great Hig great cook? No, cook great Higgledies for less. Um, yeah, we can't. We don't have any money for that stuff. Again, I'm still trying to... So, Batu... Ahoy Den. Here we go. Explorer's Guild. I think we have that, right? No, continue managing. Manager King facilities. Where's the Explorer's Guild? Ah, maybe we don't have it. Evermore Castle. Dang. I don't think we have it. Yep, there's the spot for it. Okay, we don't have it. So uh, I think we're good. There is some research that completed here. All right, I think I've uh, assigned everybody that could be assigned and collected all the research I could collect, but we have to talk to this guy right here. Hi! I've opened a marvelous restaurant of my very own, and I owe it all to you. I'm sure your mind is usually occupied with much more important matters than your dinner, but I'll teach you the wonders of fine cuisine if it's the last thing I do. I offer a very unique service here. You see, unlike other restaurants, I cook things with whatever ingredients my customers happen to bring. <laughs> yes! And the res recipes I cook are guaranteed to bring out the best in their ingredients, be it their ability to heal or to make you stronger or even more intelligent. So if you ever come across an interesting recipe or some unusual ingredients on your travels, bring them to me, and I'll be more than happy to cook them up for you, all free of charge, mm. naturally. Of course, I'm still a relative newcomer on the cooking scene, so I'll only be able to make a few things at a time first. But the more I cook different recipes from around the world, the more my culinary skills will increase. One day, I'm hoping that no dish will be beyond me. Oh, and once I've cooked up a recipe for you, you'll be able to pay a few guilders to have me cook it for you again anytime you like. And that's about it, and that's about it as far as explanations go. Basically, if you're ever feeling peckish, pop by. I'll be more than happy to repeat everything I've just told you if you need me to. So if you ever need to have your memory refreshed, wow. let me know. Wait, you didn't tell me you had recipes already? Well, I can get to work right away then. So, what would you like to order? Are you ready to order? Yeah. What can I rustle up for you today? Bike cuisine, cook, an om nom nomlet. And I think, yeah, I have all the ingredients. Create one of these. Perfect. We have an omelet. Fish supper, freshly baked bread. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Um, what does this do? Slightly strengthens melee attacks, fills you up to a reasonable amount. I don't think I want another one of these. 
Do I? No. No. We're good. Take your time. Uh, buy cuisine? Is that... Ah, okay. That's... Take uh, your time. 400 guilders. Wow. Okay. Uh, See cancel. Ya. No problem. Cool. So we did that. Now we gotta go back to the, the guy. Tell you what, this fast travel... Whoa. I can't... Okay. Alright, let's go here then. Um, this fast travel... Super convenient. Imagine having to walk back every single time. Anyway. Looks like we're going up this way. We're going to leave that shiny there. It's probably just going to be a pebble anyway. Or we've had, we have enough pebbles. Is he in the same place or... He should still be in the same place, but... No, he's not. Oh, he is. That's weird. We can't teleport here. Did we not? Aha! That's what I thought. Found it very, very strange that we didn't have a... Uh, a teleportation device here, but now we do. Okay, where are you at, buddy? Oh, you're gonna be so happy with this omelet. It's gonna be the best omelet you've ever seen. I wonder if it'd be possible to just farm guilders like this, just keep going in and out of buildings. Evan! Come on, Evan, let's fetch him a nice om nom nom omelet and shut it. Yeah, give him the uh, omelet. We hand it over the om nom nom omelet. <gasps> this, this aroma. Here you are, I brought you an Om Nom Nomlet. Such wonderful golden goodness, pan fried to perfection, compliments to the chef. Such simple ingredients, and yet he has done so much with them. My taste buds now know true happiness. Tell me, does the culinary genius responsible for this dish reside in your kingdom? Thanks. It has been years since I tasted anything so delicious. Thank you, and please forgive me for my terrible rudeness earlier on. Ever since I lost the use of my good arm on the on the field of battle, I have found myself a little to live, to live for. Until now, that is. The dish you brought me has filled me with the joy of living again. I am truly grateful. So, will you come and help us? Yes. Of course. I may no longer be the warrior I once was, but I will gladly share what wisdom remains to me. What what wisdom remains to me, if it might serve your kingdom. You said you were intending to take on a gang of thieves, yes? What forces do you have at your disposal? Mm. <laughs> Very little. We have swordsmen and archers ready to deploy. Mm. I fear a mere two units may be insufficient. Very well. It is time for your first lesson in tactics. An army is most effective when it has at least four distinct units with which to maneuver. It is with just, su with just such a force that all my greatest victories were won. Uh -huh. But you're right. We can't do that if we don't have the manpower. So where are we going to find the fighters we need? <laughs> hmm. -hmm. Do you forget the warriors of Goldpaw? There are plenty in this very kingdom who have the courage and the talent you require. Begin with Bygone <laughs> and Minty. Mention my name and they will be sure to join you. Both have a number of soldiers under their command. Come to an agreement with them and you will be able to call upon their forces in battle. May fortune favor you in your search. Wait! Gaugia, please, why don't you come and join us in our kingdom? I'm sure everyone would feel much safer with you around. Hmm, let me think. I will join you, but only if you promise that there are more, are yet more delicious dishes wait, awaiting me there. Mm. Oh, there definitely will be. Thank you so much, Gaugia. Uh, he helps boost the barracks. Okay, cool. Alright, so now... Uh, we gotta go and find those two soldierly so-and-sos. Which are out here somewhere. Hopefully in town. In town? Definitely in town. I mean, he said they were in town, but you never know. Just, uh, do a quick little... Whoa. No. There we go. There we go. Comfy cloth. I wonder how the cooking works, like... I'm guessing I need to find the recipes first, right? Classic cabbage! <laughs> um, this way... And then up the stairs, it looks like. Is this the same place, uh... No, I thought it was gonna be the same place where we got called the Golden Warrior. The best name. Only the best name ever. Oh yeah, it is you! I knew you looked suspicious! <laughs> Minty? <laughs> yes, that is me. What do you want? If you wish me to go hunting for you, you should know that my services do not come cheap. Hmm? You want me to join you in your kingdom? <laughs> you must be very short of people indeed if you have to ask me hunting dogs for help. Uh, Gaugia told you about me? Yes, I did hear that he had become the military advisor for some new kingdom. Hmm, I owe him a debt of honor. 
Perhaps this will this would be a way to pay it. There is, however, one thing. Ah, uh, of course. I would like you to do before yes. I agree to join you. It's a simple request, I promise. All I ask is for a single sleep be gone. I'm pretty sure I have that. I'm pretty yeah. sure I have a sleep be gone. I don't. Yeah. There you go. Hmm. Done. Thank you. I cannot tell you how difficult I've been finding it to rise in the mornings or something. But no longer, I can assure you that there will be no oversleeping once I am in Evermore, not least because I am champing at the bit to head into battle once again. It has been too long. Do be sure to call me when you need me. You will soon learn that I never miss my mark. Cool. Okay, so we got one of them. Pretty simple. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, now, the other one is... Can we... Oh, look at that. Very convenient. Uh-huh. It is right over, or he or she. Oh, he looks uh, pretty relaxed. Mm -hmm. hmm, what would a young pup like you want with a with one as long in the tooth as I? Oh, so Gouji told you about me, I see. That is something of, of, of a surprise. He's normally as tight-lipped a hound as a person could hope to meet. You must have something special about you to have encouraged one such as he to open up. Mm. And you say that he has told you to recruit me to your cause? Very well, but on one condition, you must first defeat three grim chilla bangers. Come on, or come, come. There is no need to look so appalled. It is hardly much to ask. In fact, I am sure you will be back here to tell me of your success in no time. Uh, okay. All right, let's go defeat some chin chinchilla something bangers. Uh, I guess the the best way to find them. I think there was tons of them over here. Let's go over here first, cause I think I remember seeing all kinds. Yeah, there we go. Grimchilla banger, that's what it is, not chinchilla. Did I say chinchillas? There's probably gonna be three right here. There is. Prepare oh, that's a pranger. Suck it! That's it, done deal. Nice, we got a dangerous short bow out of that. Alright, so. That was two. Yeah, one of them was a uh, not a banger or something else. So let's go and get this guy over here. Good chill a banger, level 11. Pretty easy stuff. Sneak up behind him. We just picked up some jingle wheat. <laughs> Ooh, there's three clangers time. and one banger. <laughs> Defeated. Wow, she's really... Ooh, girl. You are taking this seriously. We did it. Side quest updated. Now, back we go. Side quests are pretty quick so far. The level of difficulty isn't great. I think I've only lost a couple of fights. One of them was a skirmish that I was really outnumbered in. Oh. Well, well, it seems my condition was met. I hope you understand that I, I was not testing your strength. I was simply making sure that you truly do wish for me to join you. And now that I have done just that, I shall head for your kingdom immediately, though I suppose I should introduce Let myself me first. Show you I am Bygone. I do. Wow, he seemed really excited. Um, as you know, and though I may look a little long in the tooth, I can still teach these young pups a lesson or two. Fantastic. The veteran soldier, he's good for the barracks. Okay, that's four commanding officers now, eh? The makings of a tidy little army, if you ask me. Yes, let's go and see Bodley. We have some bandits to hunt down. Okay, Bodley. Bodley, are you close by or are you far? You are... Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, oh, I was looking at it the wrong way. Okay. But I still, there is one thing I want to check out over there. I don't want to go directly into the inn just yet. There's an exclamation point not far from there, and I want to see what that is. It is, uh, over here. I don't remember this exclamation point. Where is it? Here? Yeah, right here. Oh, hi. You are the king of the country where my grandfather went, yes? How has he adapted to his new home? Uh, oh. his grandfather. I'm ever so sorry, but I'm not quite sure I know who your grandfather is. <laughs> Nor should you. His, of course, forgive me, his name is Bygone. Oh. Okay. 
Uh, but of course I know Bygone, so you're his grandson? Well, no. You've the look of the old goat about you, lad. That's for certain. Do you fight as well as your grandpappy? No way, he's not a fighter. Uh... Alas, no, I have no talent for the art of war. In truth, I fled the field of my very first battle. Yikes. I will never forget my grandfather's fury when I returned with my tail between my legs. Literally. I have since become an apprentice armorer, but this does not appear to be a profession of which he thinks very highly. Mm -hmm. But why would that be, lad? The armor a man wears is oftentimes the difference between victory and defeat. Any pirate, any warrior, indeed, knows that. And my grandfather is no exception. But for a man of his line to be making rather than wearing the armor, this he cannot abide. I'll be honest with you. When my grandfather departed for your kingdom, I was a little relieved. I had had enough of seeing the disappointment on his face. Oh, so you don't want to join my kingdom then? Yet I cannot help but wish I had had the chance to earn his approval. If only he could see how hard I work. Oh, perfect. Why don't you come and join my kingdom and, and show him? We would really like to make, or sorry, we could really make use of a skilled armor. Do you know? Perhaps I will. Ah, but my tools, uh, here we go, <laughs> have become rather blunt of late. In fact, they are a disgrace. I could repair them if I had three nuggets of silver. Har, fear not, lad, blah, 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 nuggets of silver. Do I have, ooh, waterproof iron armor we get? In return, that's pretty good. Um, we have three, we have one of three. I wonder. Yeah, it doesn't really say. I would imagine a mine or a cave would uh, would produce some silver. Maybe even back home. Oh. Oh right, she's the one. See you. The grass green thread. Oh, we have five now. Done. Perfect. Mm. Of course, and if I give it to you, you'll come to my kingdom, won't you? <laughs> uh, oh, yes, the binding thread represents a bond of loyalty. I will serve you for as long as you wish it, your majesty. Perfect. We got another one. Okay, so let's go talk to Bodley now. I feel like we'll, we'll come across the silver nugget in time. Right now, we don't have any. But we can, like, start up a mine in our kingdom, and hopefully the mine produces some mm. silver nuggets. Bodley smells a bigger army, a big, big bandit bashing army. Hmm. Yes, we managed to recruit Gao Jia to our cause. Gao Jia? Uh, clever, clever boy. Big boy, good boy, yes. Now, let Bodley tell you all about her favor again. Horrible bandit stole my stone. Use your army, hurt them, get it back. My stony, wony, woo. They have a base, a nasty place. On the sunrise shore, hmm, villains, vagabonds. My stony wone is there. I know it. I feel it. Please? Get it back for Bodley, will you, pretty please? Wow, she's very attractive. All right, let's go to work, my loves. Just this last favor for old Wrinkly and we'll... <laughs> this last favor for old Wrinkly. And we'll have ourselves a library card. Finally. Um, yes, let's go. Wow, all this for a library card. 